Hello and a very warm welcome. Sebastian Vettel wins his first race in the year. He should have won at Canada. He finally wins at Singapore. Oh, it's a long wait. He silences his doubters, his critics. Sebastian Vettel is still a top driver. I did a video about him. He is still a top driver and he silenced the haters. Um, yeah, Vettel wins. 1-2 for Ferrari. Getting into the race, Ricardo Russell touch on the opening lap. A lot of touching on the first lap. Hulkenberg Sainz touch, turn 5. I would say that was Hulkenberg's fault. Ricardo does a Ricardo on stroll, specialist overtake. Angry Ricardo on the charge. He got a penalty, he had to start last. He was angry all race long. Followed the leader at the front. The first 20 laps were kind of boring. And then it finally kicked on. The pit stops happened. And now here's where Mercedes absolutely dropped a bollock. Vettel and Max come in. Leclerc reacts. Vettel jumps Leclerc. And Hamilton stays out, stays out, stays out. And basically he's losing time. He's losing positions. It's just dumb as fuck. Like he was guaranteed second and he's finished fourth. So they've just thrown points away. It's like... I'm really pissed off about that from a Hamilton fan. Like it was dumb. You could see he was losing time. He was losing positions. Just pit him. Don't stay out there. He would have been behind Bottas if Mercedes didn't call team orders, and that's where Bottas will never be a champion because he would have jumped Hamilton himself, but he just stays behind because the team tell him. He's he is. He's Hamilton's lapdog. He will never challenge Lewis Hamilton for the title, Bottas. Um. Vettel jumps Leclerc, Hamilton lost too many position. Giovinazzi leads the Grand Prix because everyone pitted, he just stayed out. And then Ricardo and Giovinazzi touch, Ricardo was angry all race, he ends up with a puncher. Grosjean and Russell touch, Russell gets put in the wall. Safety car comes out for Russell, Stroll gets a puncher, Sergio Perez pulls off, I mean... He was running in the points, Perez, he pulls off. Gasly, Pia Gasly, looks a new man in this Toro Rosso. He deserved to be dropped 100%, but now look at him. He's racing like he was before in Toro Rosso. He was on fire. And then to top it all off, Kvyat, this is where he gets his torpedo name from, sends it down the inside of Kimi Raikkonen, they touch. Raikkonen's out the race. Kvyat goes through the bollard. To be fair, he was down the inside, Kvyat, but... I don't know. I would say that was 50-50, that one. Race rating, I'll give it 5 out of 10. First 20 laps, very boring. Then the race kind of kicked in. The six at the front just followed each other. There was a lo quite a bit of overtaking in the midfield, but too much tyre saving for me. It's going snail's pace at the start. So, yeah, I'll only give it 5. Star of the race, Sebastian Vettel. Um... Fastest lap, Kevin Magnussen. Magnussen in the points and just fell backwards, so had a free pit stop. Singapore race reaction, no footage. Singapore race reaction, Vettel silences the haters, the doubters, the critics. DNFs, George Russell put in the wall by Grosjean. Perez pulled off to the side and Kimi Raikkonen contact with Danny Kivia. Sebastian Vettel wins his first win of the season. He's under pressure. He was under pressure, getting criticised. Is he good enough? Does he still have the passion? Well, he's proved and silenced everyone wrong. I'm so happy for Vettel. I'm genuinely happy for him. I used to hate him when he was winning four titles and waving this finger. But he deserves that. He's been under so much pressure, and I'm actually happy for him. And is this team going to be built round the young Monegasque? And Vettel comes in, stamps his authority down. No, 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 Charlie. Second place, Charles Leclerc got really bummed on the strategy. He is very angry. He's not happy about that. He did everything he needed to. Paul dominated the first bit. Vettel got the first pit stop and jumped him. Max, P3, did the right strategy. Pretty stale race for Max. Uh, fourth, Hamilton. Total run strategy by Mercedes cost him second place guaranteed seconds we'll just stay out and lose positions well done Bottas P5 P5 in qualifying P5 in the race uh, it's just move on from Bottas he does my head in um, 
Alexander Albon 6, very good by Albon, probably the best he can do, still new in his Red Bull. A big shout out to Lando Norris, the Englishman, best of the rest in P7, what a worldie. Gasly, P8, absolutely on fire he was, Pierre Gasly, that is the Gasly we saw in the Toro Rosso back in the day. Nico Hulkenberg, after his first lap contact with um, Sainz, he comes back and gets back in the points. That just proves you don't give up round Singapore. Always a safety car, so never give up. Giovinazzi, 10th, brilliant. Beat Kimi Raikkonen all weekend, was leading the race at one point, had contact with Ricardo, gets the last point. Roman Grosjean, 11th. Steady race by Grosjean, he had contact with Russell. Don't know if he's going to get a penalty for that. Uh, Carlos Sainz, 12th. Again, decent fight back. He was a lap down. He had contact with Hulkenberg. I'm pretty sure Sainz would have been best of the rest if he was allowed to do his own race. Fights back to 12th. 13th, Lance Stroll. Ended up with a puncture. Daniel Ricciardo. He, he had such a good... Ricciardo's 14th. Had such a good qualifying. Then he's angry because he gets sent back to the grid, which was a pretty bullshit penalty, if you ask me. He was doing his famous Ricardo late moves, but then he had contact with Giovinazzi. And, yeah, just a really tough weekend for Ricardo. Kvyat, 15th, had that contact with um, Kimi, battered by Gasly all weekend. Kubica, 16th, will leave Williams. Again, Kubica finishes the race. Russell, retired. So, 16 for Kubica. Kevin Magnussen, 17th and last. Magnussen was in the points, but after the safety car came in, he just went backwards. Then he had a free pit stop, and he goes and sets the fastest lap. Race reaction for the Singapore Grand Prix done. Qualifying reaction, race reaction. Join me for driver ratings. There will be no footage here. And, uh, yeah... That is my race reaction. I'm actually happy for Vettel. Under pressure. Seriously under pressure. Does he have the passion and love for this sport? Four-time world champion. A lot of pole positions. And he delivers today. He's the star of the race. And Vettel is back. He should have won at Canada. Got absolutely robbed. Leclerc's been winning the last two races. Vettel's really been getting his pants pulled down. Had a horror show at Italy, should have been disqualified, and he bounces back at Singapore. Arguably could have got pole yesterday, and he's bounced back with a race win. Strategy was on point for Vettel. He silences his critics. We go on to Russia in a week's time. And yeah, Danny Kvyat's home race, but yeah, brilliant for Vettel. I'm actually happy for him. I actually kind of feel sorry for him, everyone taking the piss out of him. He is still a top driver, and he showed that today. And, yeah, what else was I going to say? I was going to say something else. Uh, comment down below, we'll always reply, and that is the race reaction done. Vettel wins the Singapore Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc is angry. Max on the podium after, like, it was just follow the leader. Like, we need a bit better racing than that. That is my race reaction done. I'm actually so happy for Vettel. A horror show in Italy, bounces back in Singapore, wins the race. And yeah, we will be singing that finger. Arigatsi tutti, bella ciarara, forza Ferrari.